morning. Third time is the charm. I almost couldn't come on live. Oh my god. I thought Mercury was supposed to be out of retrograde. What is going on? <laughs> Let's get our shit together. Good morning. Please say hello in the comments if you are joining us. <laughs> you made it. I made it, Melody. I'm pumped. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> All right. So first of all, welcome to this very first pilot episode of Sovereign Says. Um, this is pretty much a very micro extension of what you receive inside of Transit Centro. So a lot of you who are joining live are actually members of Transit Centro, and you know that every week I have a report, whether it's written or I go live, and I go through all the planets, all the transits, what it means collectively, individually, things of that nature. And so for this show, I really just wanted to focus on the sun transit because this is really the collective theme. And the sun transits about every six to seven days. And when the sun transits, the earth also transits with it. So the earth is a grounding element of the sun. That's not something we discuss on the show in particular, but you're welcome to join us in Transit Center Row. And you'll get that insight as well on how to work with that solar energy with the grounding element of earth. But this week, we have the beginning of a very interesting theme. So we have been in a theme of alignment, correction, the gate 18. And today the sun moves into the 48, the gate of depth. Now the 18 and the 48 have a very interesting relationship. If you look at the human design body graph, and my intention was to be able to share my screen um, oh, you can share the screen on a laptop, which is cool. And I might actually be able to pull it up. So just bear with me because I, I would have liked to have this pulled up so that you can learn about the body graph and also see what the heck I'm even talking about. But there is a relationship between the gate 48 and the gate 18. They're both splenic gates. They're both in the spleen. And the spleen governs our sense of fear survival instinct, but also intuition. It's also the center of intuition. So it's a very significant center as that particular center has really allowed us to survive um, as a species for as long as we have. It's because of the fact that we happen to be a very um, splenic driven collective up until now that we have been able to survive. So I'm go ahead and pull up this foundational chart and see if I can share with you guys. Good morning, Sidora. Good morning, Danielle. Share what I mean. Share what I mean see if it works. All right, can you guys see my screen? Can you see right here? Here's the 48. This is where the sun is transiting today, and this is the 18 where it was. Now, we're going to continue to see a lot of the 18. A lot of planets are passing through this gate, um, so it's just the same concept, but in different areas of our life, but both of these are splenic, and they have to do with alignment, and in the case of the 48 depth. And one of the things that I want to show you is that the 48 is half of this channel connecting to the 16 called the channel of talent. And the channel of talent, when someone has this channel, for example, Britney Spears is someone who has this complete channel in her body graph. And she is definitely someone who came here to practice something and master it. And she is one hell of a performer. She's a manifesting generator, obviously. She's one hell of a performer who has lived a very, very troubled and difficult life. But this channel of talent is very obviously illuminated in an individual who came here to the 16 enthusiasm, develop something that they're, discover something that they're really good at, that they're very excited at. It's also known as the gate of skills. And then with the 48, master it, hammer it home, perfect it, get it to the point where they are a true master. 